Duty. Advisory Opinion 13 Evaluation for the agency. Page 90. Advisory Opinion 13 Evaluation for the agency's guidelines provides an estimate of market value. When that estimate of market value is the opinion of an individual who is required to comply with USPAP, that opinion, i.e., the evaluation, is, for SPAP, an appraisal. Therefore, an appraiser who is required to comply with USPAP must meet both the agency's requirements for an evaluation and the requirements of Standards 1 and 2 and other applicable parts of USPAP. Any request for an opinion of value of real property requires compliance with the Scope of Work Rule, which states in part, the scope of work must include the research and analyses that are necessary to develop credible assignment results. An appraiser must be prepared to support the decision to exclude any investigation. Information, method, or technique that would appear relevant to the client, another intended user, or the appraiser's peers. An appraiser must not allow assignment conditions to limit the scope of work to such a degree that the assignment results are not credible in the context of the intended use. Under the scope of work rule, any development requirements imposed on an assignment for evaluation of real property collateral would be considered assignment conditions. If an individual is engaged to provide information or analysis that does not include an opinion of value, the assignment is neither an appraisal, for USPAP, nor an evaluation, for agency's guidelines. However, if the individual providing that service is acting as an appraiser, as defined in USPAP, the assignment would be appraisal practice and the appraiser would be obligated to comply with the ethics rule, the competency rule, and the jurisdictional zero exception rule. One examples of requests for services that do not require a value conclusion include, but are not limited to, 5263-6465, providing sales and rent data, listings, assessments and other similar information, without adjustments or determination of comparability to indicate or suggest the value of a specific property, and providing data describing a neighborhood community, or any other real estate market segment and analyses on real estate market trends. 66 appraisers who believe certain requests for evaluations of real property collateral are inconsistent with USPAP or 67 contrary to law or regulation should explain their concerns to the potential client. If necessary, additional information 68 and advice may be obtained from the appropriate federal regulator regarding the agency's guidelines. If the client 69 does not agree to an assignment that allows the appraiser to comply with USPAP and applicable law or regulation, the 70 appraiser must decline or withdraw from the assignment. 71 Illustration 72 A potential client requests evaluations of real property collateral for two properties from an appraiser who is required to 73 comply with USPAP. The client wants to know the market value of the fee simple interest in the properties presented in 74 very brief and concise reports. The client is knowledgeable about the market for the types of property involved. 75 in an assignment to appraise either property. The appraiser must determine the appropriate scope of work to develop 76 credible assignment results based on the problem to be solved before considering the reporting requirements of 77 Standard 2. 78-1 Evaluation is for an existing single-family residential fee simple property in connection with a real estate loan 79 amount of less than $250,000. The client requests only the sales comparison approach for this residential evaluation. 80 if the appraiser determines that the sales comparison approach alone is sufficient to produce credible assignment 81 results in the appraisal of the residential property, an evaluation, i.e. an appraisal, based solely on this approach can 82 be performed in compliance with USPAP.
83 the other evaluation is for an existing office building occupied by the owner without a lease the lender is 84 considering a business loan amount of 1 million dollars or less that is not dependent on the sale of or rental income 90 advisory opinions 2018-2019 edition the appraisal foundation